So, here I am at another spot in the High Uendas. It's actually a very well-known spot. I'm not going to name it, but if you uh, know the area, then you know it. <laughs> um, let me adjust the exposure there. It didn't really help, but you can see. Big old storm clouds over there. There was light sunlight hitting it early, a few minutes ago. Those peaks in the back. Um, I'm just waiting for the light to to fit. You know, I mean, I actually got some pretty cool stuff when the the light light was hitting it with those storm clouds behind and all this lit up in the foreground. Really cool. But um, I never leave until the sun is down and gone and it's getting dark when I'm in a spot like this because you just never know what's going to happen. That, that big cloud could dissipate, probably will. It could rain on me, I may have to run for the car. Um, but at the last minute the sun could come out and highlight those peaks with all that black behind there and it would just be an amazing shot. So you just never know. Stick around and wait. Um, point of interest. Uh, there's beaver living in here and a beaver just swam up right there and, and uh, I didn't even notice it but it, it uh, slapped its tail in the water. Kind of scared the crap out of me. I was like, what the heck? It sounded like a big old rock hit the, hit the water but I knew what it was <laughs> once it happened. <laughs> that was pretty funny. But if you uh, don't know where this is, I really don't know if I want to tell you because it's kind of really popular already. A lot of people... Last time I was here last fall, there was guys showing up from California to photograph it. And I mean, it's it's, it's a really popular spot. But anyway, I'll, it's in the Uendas on the North Slope. And the easiest way to get to it, well, you can get to it from from Wy uh, from Utah. We usually come in from Wyoming because it's closer to come over that way from where our cabin is. But anyway, see now the light's shifting a little bit. See that patch on the mountain right over there? That's coming through a cloud, but you never know what might happen. That might end up on the mountains back in there. So shooting shooting with cloudy conditions, even when it's not the perfect time to do it, you can always pull off some cool shots. And I really liked it once the sun popped out from behind a cloud and lit this area up. And the backlight, it's kind of gone now, but these uh, these trees over in over in there actually over in there we're being backlit which looked with the star a little bit will look really cool and uh just layering light layering is something that you really need to learn something i thoroughly enjoy doing so this is what i'm doing today this is july 3rd um second place first place we hung out for a little bit but i didn't want to wait till the light got perfect there because i like this spot better anyway got mosquitoes are starting to come and get me again <laughs> yeah well that has been amazing <laughs> uh, you can see that back there oh it's like let me zoom in sorry there the rainbow's about gone but there's been a rainbow back there too uh, actually a double rainbow for a few minutes that's absolutely been cool <laughs> started to spit on us just a little bit but it didn't and uh, it's been absolutely amazing I mean the only other thing I needed that would have made this picture better is a unicorn <laughs> here's a video I did um, in between shots I was so busy photographing a little video showing you what it looked like and then this one I call approaching storm this was the one I was talking about where the trees in the background were backlit the light was hitting the mountains those dark storm clouds slight reflection in the water I just I thought this turned out really really well and this next one this was when it was at the best conditions with the, the double rainbow. The one on the left, very much more brighter than the middle one, but still looking really good. Very light bit of light 
through the foreground there, just spectacular. I mean, that's a unicorn shot. That really is. <laughs> this one was uh, Departing Storm, is what I've titled it, as uh, uh, this a video of it. Um, sorry for the shakiness of it. This was uh, after the double rainbow went away and I had a little bit of a chance to do some video and then the still shot of it, which I called the parting storm. Um, the, uh, the wind, I waited for the wind to just quit blowing while that rainbow was still there and I was able to get that reflection. The foreground light is gone, but it still was really nice. I just loved the light hitting the mountains in the background. And then I just stuck it out, waited, and uh, got this, the sunset shot, the last bit of light hitting the, the peaks, um, the, light, the clouds lighting up in pink, just was spectacular. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, uh, click the like button and um, hit the subscribe, subscribe to my channel, and uh, happy trails.